Congrats, Marcus. Our follower count is growing fast. How many are actually giving us access to their computers? All of them. That's the point. They give us access to their power. We grow a network of computers that makes us stronger. Our own giant cloud computing network. So do people sign a contract? I vow to let DedSec own my processor? We're transparent. They know before they ever install the app that they're giving us access to their computing power, but never their personal info. That's a lot of trust. Silicon Valley would kill to have that level of intrusion. Private data farming runs their whole economy. Yeah, but we look out for our own, man. That's why people are joining our movement. To make a statement against the technocrats. Have you seen the trailer for the new Jimmy Siska movie? No, it's out. Hey, hey, pull it up, no, man. No, no, not on this. For this, we need perfect sound. We need a big screen. We need to be comfy. Right. We need quiet. Have, have you seen it yet? No, nah, man. I waited for you. You're the best. Thank you. All right, everybody, we're going to watch the trailer. Shut the fuck up. Shut up. In a world where technology connects everything. I'm not looking for justice, goddammit. One man prowls the information superhighway in search of cyber justice. I'm looking for cyber justice. Simple line of code could devastate the whole world. It's gonna be a cyber caster. Cyber Driver. Hit him with the code, Flurry Chip. Jimmy Siska is... Got no choice, kiddies. Follow me or die. Devon Von Devon. We gotta get these hackers somewhere safe. They aren't hackers, Devon. They're just script kiddies. Hey, the car answered. This ain't your mama's smart car. I think next time we're gonna need a higher firewall, pal. Cyber, Cyber Driver. Action hero, badass. Talking car, admit it, Josh. The car is cool. You know what I'm thinking? We cut our own version of that trailer. And that car is gonna help us do it. For real? Wouldn't have us a ton of followers. No, first, Josh and I will go to the studio to get that script. We'll look around and see what other gems they have about death sec, and we'll look for the car. All right, so what's the deal here? Are we, are we issuing an advisory? No, why would we do that? They'll just patch the holes. No, uh, let them. Don't worry, Cyber Child. Oh, don't. Hacker movie's gonna get hacked. HMP Studios, we are holding you solely responsible for the dread that is Cyber Driver. Cyber Driver. Cheesy stunts and bad dialogue, we can take. But you've insulted our intelligence, and that we can't excuse. It seems like you could deal with a lesson on what hackers are capable of. And since you didn't come to us to learn, we'll come to you to teach. We are launching Operation Hack and Run. We'll show you what hackers can do. We are DevSec. Santo Cielo! You 
guys thought that movie was gonna be good? <laughs> well, yeah, sure. They're fun to laugh at. Cool, you said. Uh, did I actually say cool? Here's what we know, Josh. Cyber Driver is shaped up to be a million dollar cyber catastrophe. I know you're trying to get my goats with that word. Uh, I don't want that, man. Keep your goats. Why would Galilei allow their name to be sullied? You mean cyberized? You can keep trying, but it will never be funny to me. I'm not gonna lie. If those scenes were what they chose for the trailer, yeah, the rest of it's gonna be jack shit. And why they chose to target DeadSec is curious. Well, Chicago was a big deal. True. Anyway, don't worry. You and me are prowling the information highway to seek out our own cyber justice. Look, Josh, we're gonna have fun with this. And I promise I won't say cyber anymore. You know, after this, the cyber world will never be the same. <laughs> And there it is, Hook Motion Picture Studios. They don't understand me. Well, I don't understand them. Fuck them. Good. I'm better than you! Bye, better call it in. Spread out. Here we go. Nice. The not so secret emails. I 
I just can't believe this. Really. In another life, maybe. Of a bitch. I don't need to shit. Okay, guys, I'm in. The fun starts getting fun. I don't like going to after parties. I feel like a junkie getting wasted in someone's house. I hit the bar to drink at a bar. I found it. We got the full script of Cyberdriver. What about the car? I don't think it's on site. We'll find it. I'm heading out now. Right? That's what you do. You look at what's happening on the federal level. Cuts to education. Huh. 
Hey guys, I found an email that says the car is being delivered to a location, but it doesn't say where or when. That's okay. I think I have a backup plan. Marcus, I have a paparazzi contact who knows where the car is. He's waiting for you. We'll give him whatever he asks for out of that email dump. He's good for it. Sure. You have a paparazzi contact? <laughs> is there anyone you don't know? That's me. Social butterfly. 911, state your emergency, please. Someone's stealing some wheels! Remain calm. Police are now in transit. So I know this guy, right? He's a real roaster. This guy can hotbox anywhere. If you want deets on where the car is at, better have something juicy for me. Like Jimmy Siska and pop star Nelly Shire? They are banging. I knew it. See, okay, now we're talking. Consider it sent. <laughs> Hella cool. Coolosity. All right, I sent you the GPS of the car's route.
System check. Sweet! Less wrong. All units, we are in pursuit of a stolen vehicle from the movie studio. <laughs> Squad to all units. The need? The need for speed. You are not authorized to drive this vehicle. Well, I'm authorizing myself, motherfucker. Wrench, you hear this? The car's talking. I'm in trouble here. Can you run a check? Is this a part of the movie? Be advised, a patrol car has been dispatched after the suspect. Your face is too dark for my sensors to read. What? Bitch, I'm black and I'm proud. Tell your sensors to calibrate that. I have no reference for black. Be no, advised. of course you, you don't. To the suspect's location. Keep your hands and feet inside the tornado at all times. Hang on to your innards, Devin. Together, we will carve up the streets. Wait, did you just say a line from the movie? Wrench, you hearing this? I am one nitrous-jacked smart car. Suspect is out of sight. Still searching. Whoa, well, wait. Did, did you just say the car quoted the movie? Yeah. <laughs> but the... That is so meta! I'm clear. Meet you at the garage. On my way. I am Devin Von Devin and I am... You are not Devin. Devin Von Devin is handsome and swarthy. <laughs> you are not. Oh, come on. I'm sure as hell swarthier than any dude named Von Devin. Damn, Silicon Valley couldn't hire one brother? My Galilei creators think of everything. Yeah, maybe not everything. Oh, man, this card. This car is something else. Yeah, well, kudos to Galilee for getting the studio to pay for this lemon. Lemon? Did you hear it? And never mind voice recognition. I mean, sure, it needs a smack of sided scripting, but it had cogent responses. Do you know how much work had to go into that? Uh, Galilee has been talking about machine learning for their Mars probe, but, man, I didn't expect it to be as advanced as it... What? Oh, man. I know it! I do not approve of you driving me, Marcus. You're not as swarthy as Devin Von Devon. I knew it had too much smart ass to be smart. Wow. Shiny and new. So it wasn't responding at all? Well, does, um... Does, does that count? Yeah, fuck you, man. Fuck you. <laughs> the car's designed for autonomous control, but nothing's there or even calibrated. It's capable, but suboptimal. Not junk. See? That's what I'm talking about. Think positive. It's just stupid. So that's the plan? Fix a smart car the space company couldn't? Problem? No, we got this. Hmm.
I've got to change my number. This should come in handy. Oh, yeah. up on me. But Be advised, we have reports of previously identified target near your location. Hey, Marcus. Over. Me wrench in the garage when you're ready. Will do. Hackers love a challenge. Guys, let's fire it up. Let's do this. Jump in, baby. The water's fine. Ready to rock it? You get to have all the fun. Hell yeah! Okay, everything's set up. Ready? And set! Go! You know what this needs? Atmosphere. Step back, kitties. I'm not your mommy's smart car.
jump apart. You think? Totally doable. Uh, just remember to boost the engine. He's driving like a maniac. Someone needs to take him down. Marcus, we're on the news. Already? Eh, fame won't change me. Live on the scene, we're getting reports of the cyber driver car performing spectacular stunts around town. The one-of-a-kind car is drawing quite a crowd. It could be a marketing stunt for the upcoming release of action thriller Cyber Driver. We're able to get a closer look at the cyber driver car as it races through the city. And it seems that there's no driver. Police are still in pursuit of the cyber driver car. Wait, what's that? Folks, we're seeing a logo on the car. It reads, Dead Sec. That's hella dope. shouldn't have risked the reputation by dealing with the studio at all. It's okay, Josh. You know why? No, Satara. Why? We're gonna hit him where it giga hurts. <laughs> and now for the big finish. Oh, no. Oh, the world. Started out as just a trickle, then boom. The numbers haven't stopped climbing. This was a good target. Yeah, but... Was it? You don't think? No, I mean, of course, look at the numbers, but... I don't know, there's... I mean, what are we gonna do? You know, for real. Aim bigger. Hell yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Are you watching? <laughs> no. It's like sadtube.com. A channel for sad people, am I right? <laughs> you ask them. I mean, come on. Look at them. They've got their own goddamn branding. I've been following them since they accessed our server network. Jesus Christ, don't yell in my fucking ear. Use your inside voice, will ya? Anyways, it's all done other than the handshake. We're working with the human Izulu in case it gets to the collateral damage part of the relationship. They'll be discreet. Marcus, those new on parasites got a recruitment video killed. Can you believe it? Oh, I believe it. Jimmy Siska's greatest fits? Uh, say it ain't so. What are we gonna do about it? Come by the hackerspace when you have a minute, and we'll figure out the best way to pay them back. Hi. Right.
New Dawn wants to step into the ring with us. They got our recruitment video killed on all the big social media sites and threatened to sue anyone who hosts it. This is gonna cost us a lot of followers. DMCA takedown, annoying. This is worse than annoying. This is a declaration of war. I will not be censored. Hey, New Dawn's a fucking scam. The rich people throwing away their money for some elitist circle jerk shit. This could be big for us. I mean, nobody's gonna take the side of those assholes unless they're already members. We are so gonna cornhole this fake-ass church. What's cornhole? Where the corn goes after you eat the corn, Josh. Oh. They don't like us using footage of their celebrity whore, Jimmy Siska. So let's start with him. He's our highest profile spokesperson. But it's, it's Jimmy Siska. I mean, when I was a kid, I had the Siska glasses, the pop collar. I, I even knew every line to open wounds. Dude, me too. I even have the lunchbox. Nice. Mint condition. Nice. Just not, not Siska, okay? Just anyone but him. There's, please. there's gotta be another way, all right? He's in town shooting Cyber Driver. I was just thinking maybe we could talk to him. Fuck up his relationship with New Dawn. He can go back to being less of a douchebag. Then I could go back to wearing my Cisco tees without feeling like one. Wait a minute. You use cornhole as a verb. That doesn't even make sense in the context of you. Okay, okay, we focus on Siska. <laughs> New Dawn keeps blackmail records of their celebrity shills, right? We check out the local center, we just need to get in and dig up his file. Everybody in? In. I'll round up the locals and I'll meet you there. Let the cornholing begin. <laughs> you heard the man. <laughs> Cornhole. <laughs> For too long, predators have victimized the weak and the wounded under the guise of religion. The Church of the New Dawn is a scam. Yeah. Rank in the church is based on financial contribution. Loyalty is bought through blackmail and fear. They believe they are untouchable. That will soon change. DedSec will reveal the secrets and true purpose of New Dawn. You can help. Take up a mask and protest your local recruitment center. Let their leaders know what you think of them online. Join us as we send them a message. No more. DedSec will give you the truth. Do what you will. Should I call an ambulance? Hey, Marcus, I got something to show you. Am I gonna like it? I'm gonna say 30 to 1 odds against. Then I guess I better get it out the way. See you soon.
only costs your life savings. By enlightenment, it only costs your life savings. Distracting enough for you? You gonna go inside and take a peek, or? Oh, yeah. Oh, and I wore my church clothes. Nice. By enlightenment, it only costs your life savings. All right, I'm heading in. I'll dig up what I can on Siska. We're about to go to battle with these fuckers. I need anything shady you can find. If we want to pick up followers, we need to generate some serious outrage. Can't we just make something up? If we get caught lying, everything else DedSec ever claimed will be called a lie. Don't worry. If they've shit the bed, I'll find the dirty sheets. And in comes Marcus with the classy metaphor. <laughs> I aim to please. Guys, I think we can use Siska as an ally. The man's in big trouble with the church. They're even planning an emergency audit. Audit? They're after his money. Of course they are. But this is something different. They wire themselves up to these bullshit electronic doohickeys and play psychiatrists with each other. 
It's cute. Siska's waiting for the auditor to show, but he's gonna get me instead. Are you serious? You're gonna wing it. So gonna wing it. First, I have to delay the real auditor. He's gonna get a call from Jimmy Siska. Yes, guys, you have to hear his Jimmy Siska impression. It's ridiculous. <laughs> I don't have time now. I'll be in touch. Hello? Jason, I heard you're coming for an audit today. Jimmy, right, right. I was just about to leave. How's it going? Not good. I think I ate one too many empanadas, my friend. My stomach is way too unstable for a session. If you catch my drift. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I get you. Violent, violent diarrhea. Yes, I understand. Can we reschedule? Yeah, we're gonna have to. I took a handful of chewables. I'll give you a call back soon, I promise. We good? We're cool. You take care of yourself, Jimmy. Working on it. 